Hello, my beautiful, beautiful life path number three. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. This is Healing Hands, guys. I have missed you all. I have missed you all. Um, and I know some of you have missed me. <laughs> um, because you indicated that in my last video. And thank you so much for your love and your support. I do feel you all's energy sometimes, okay? Um, I feel you've missed me, okay? And I know I have. So, I guess if you're my soul tribe, you will understand what I'm saying. You will resonate with that. If you're not, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing wonderful. So, guys, number three. It's one, two, three. All right? Um, so, if you ever feel, number three, that you're, you're constantly finding yourself, like, in the middle of a situation, all right, like in the middle of crap, somehow you get drawn to the middle, you get pulled into crap, you get pulled into things that sometimes you don't even know about, or you might get, it. so some of you maybe have dealt with this before in your, in your past, or maybe are dealing with it, or might be in that energy, but it, you constantly feel like for some reason, drama finds its way to you, all right, when you don't even want it. It's like you keep running away from drama, but drama keeps coming to you anyway. Why? You don't know. It's part of your life path number. Your life path number three. You're always going to be in the mix, all right? You're always going to be right there digging in with everybody else. But you might go digging in with everybody else, but you might be the one that comes out not smelling like roses when you should be, all right? It's also the energy of, you know, people collaborating, working. So you might find yourself... Some of you might totally hate this, all right? Might totally hate working with people, but you're meant to work with people. You're meant to collaborate. You're meant to exchange your energy. You're meant to exchange your knowledge, your creativity with other people. Um, it's not a loner energy. It's not a one. It's not a two. It's a three, okay? It's not a loner energy at all. So some of you, if you do find yourself in that energy of, you know, it, you know, be wanting to be alone, wanting to do things by yourself, wanting to do this and, you know, and it's not working. That's why. All right. I, you know, I just had the, um, that message come through now. So my beautiful, beautiful life path number three, let's see what energy that you guys are operating in. Let's see the energy that we're going to pick up for you guys today. I know it's been a minute. It's been a minute. I am excited to see what you all have been dealing with. All right, Holy Spirit, what's going on in my life path number three energy? Can we get their energy at this time? What is their mixed feelings, mixed emotion? What energy are they or have they been in? What is the energy? Okay, I think we have enough. And some that really fell to the floor. And I have to pick up. Okay. Let's see what all this is. I see resentment this came out for life path number two <laughs> and i this is really funny um i had a message in life path number two's reading that came out for number one now i have a uh, another thing message here for life path number three that also came out in life path number two so i'm gonna tell you life path number three please go watch the life path number two reading because i i told life path number two to also watch life path number one because i i do see the you know how spirit is making the connection so please watch that also in addition to this all right because there's obviously someone who is in an energy of resentment okay it could be you it could be somebody that you dealt with but this is definitely an energy that we're picking up and we're picking it up for a reason because someone is in that energy at the moment okay it's the energy of being indignant be feeling offended and bitter about something someone or a situation something not working out the way it was supposed to okay um, and there's another energy of somebody who is afraid. It's an energy of fearfulness, somebody who's scared and terrified of something. Or I'm picking up the energy of somebody who feels like they are in the dark about something. All right. Um, the unknown also, somebody who's afraid to make the take the leap of faith, afraid to take the next step. Um, is questioning the next steps, you know, next step in front of them, is questioning. You know, if, if things that are unfolding, 
because they don't know, they don't have the full inside or the full story yet. Um, they can't see clearly yet. So it's like the Holy Spirit is going to be revealing, you know, as you keep going. But you, you want to see the end. It's like, I wish I could just see what's at the end, at the other end. So I can walk confidently. I'm picking that energy. Wow. There's also an element of surprise here. So I guess maybe as you keep going on this journey, whatever the journey is for you, it could be love, it could be um, work, it could be career, it could be uh, friendship, it could be relationship, it could be situationship, whatever. It could be family dynamic, it doesn't matter. There's an element of surprise where I guess as you keep unraveling, um, it's like opening a present and you don't know what the heck is in your present, all right, your parcel. And then you just have to like, you know, wait for that element of surprise because that's what the Holy Spirit wants to do is, you know, surprise you, startle you, astonish you and shock you to your core about something. All right. Uh, but they're just telling you, be confident, be confident as you keep going all right don't be scared of the unknown don't be scared of what's at the other end just be confident about your next move all right um this talks about being self-assured and courageous and bold to take a leap of faith all right there's something here about feeling inspired um moved to do something stimulated to take a decision or even challenged, you know, for some of you, all right? And maybe some of you are, are, are struggling with, you know, the inspiration that you need to take um, the next step in, a, in a, a situation, the next direction, or make up your mind about something, all right? Now, there's an energy of somebody who is feeling disgusted about something. This could be, because I'm looking at this now, and, and they're showing me the past. They could, this could be the energy of the past of somebody feeling disgusted about maybe somebody just coming out of the energy of disgust all right where they totally were revolted or nauseated or even repelled by somebody or something in, with regards to a, a you know a situation where you dealt with this energy okay um but this may have been the reason why, you know, you know, some of you are struggling with your confidence or some of you are still afraid or some of you are, might be a little bit, you know, res resentful um, when it comes to taking this next um, leap of faith, this next step. All right, life path number three. I hope you know what that is because I don't know, like, what is this about? All right, and I know this is going to be different for everybody because, like I always tell you guys, we're at a different juncture um, on our spiritual journey. Where I'm at is not where you, you're at, but I can tell you one thing. If you're a part of my soul tribe, I will pick up your energy, okay? So, but if you do come and none of my video resonates with you, then, you know, you may not really be a member of my soul tribe in that way where um, our energy um, is mingling. Well, even though I do believe that if you ever come across my video, um, at any point we're meant to cross path. All right. It means you, I can, it means I can pick up your energy. You just need to exchange your energy with me by doing something on my channel. Either you leaving a comment so that that way I can go read and immerse myself in your energy or you can, you know, like so that I get a notification. I can also go and, you know, feel your energy out or share the video or do something to exchange your energy because you know remember energy is like a vibration i can feel it you can feel it you do something you get you know you also get me being able to pull your energy and do your reading and give a more accurate reading for you okay all right so these are the messages that somebody who was is or will be in your energy needs to tell you Something that you need to know that somebody wish they could say to you, all right? It says, you speak to me through music. So some of you may have musical talent. Some of you may, you know, have someone that you've dealt with that um, maybe there was something that tied you, you know, when it comes to music, either they liked your music or, you know, you both like certain kind of music or both of you danced or there was something that you all had, you know, to do with music. All right. Um, 
So you speak to me through music. Some people still remember you when they hear certain songs, when they listen to your song, if you're a musician, if you're an artist or whatever, because life part number threes are usually artists, all right? Either in, in, in theater, in the music industry, entertainment industry, in one way or another, all right? If you're not, then I'm sure you know you have the talent inside of you. Not everybody is meant to be an actor or a musician, but you will know you do have that strong, vibes for creativity all right you're creative you might be exceptionally creative all right but deciding not to go anywhere with your talent another uh, message here is i am not available someone obviously is not available at this time to you even if you wanted them to they are not or you might be the one that is not available to someone all right maybe they are trying but you're just not available to them someone is obviously shut the door on someone and, and moved on, all right? This says the timing just wasn't right. It wasn't right. So someone moved on. Somebody is just not, no longer in that energy. So someone is obviously missing someone through music, all right? Or things that remind them of you, all right? But either you're not available or they are not available emotionally, physically, maybe distance, doesn't matter. But timing wasn't right. That's why the relationship did not work. And finding out the truth crushed me in that situation. So it looks like some of you discovered the truth about something um, about this person or whoever this is or whatever this is. And it crushed someone. Okay. And something here, but I want to feel that way again. I am getting an energy of some of you are trying to rekindle the emotion that you invested into something or someone trying to dig deep to, you know, heal and be able to, you know, love again, be able to, you know, invest again, be able to do again. All right. And not allow the past experience, um, you know, that crushed you, destroy your faith in love. And, you know, um, you know, I talked about, did I say something about love earlier on? Um, anyway, so, so many things remind me of you. This is somebody who's obviously, um, is reminiscing somebody who just is, you know, remembering you all's interaction, your, you know, your energy when you were together or when you were with them or when you were, you know, um, in each other's energy that much. Okay. Um, but the timing wasn't right. And you and I maybe were too young. Maybe some of you, someone behaved childish in a situation. Maybe this was just a situation that, I mean, nobody just could explain how this whole thing ended. All right. Um, somebody was childish in a situation. Um, or maybe this was, you know, this happened and you guys were unable to reach that level of maturity in your relationship. It might have ended and um, it just appeared to you that um, the relationship, as if it, 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 the way it ended might appear as if you didn't even do anything. All right. <laughs> you, as if you didn't even nurture this relationship. Okay. I'm getting that image or pr feeling of prematurity. Okay. There's something about that relationship being premature. There's something about talking, and I think this energy also came out for life path number two. So you all should go watch the reading for life path number two and see how it resonates with you, okay? But this for life path number two, the energy that I got for them was the energy of, um, you know, somebody who had gone through a lot in their life and had their friends and support system in place. Um, talking as a way of helping them release and get over whatever happened to them in the past. All right. Let's see for you here. It's talking about interested, conversing more, a wait, awaited message arrives, text call. So I'm also getting a message that some of you may have, you know, got, okay. Those of you that were crushed in a situation where, um, you found out the truth about something. I'm picking up that energy where it seems as if maybe some of you got um, found out things through text, email, um, or calls. There was something that involved communication. And, you know, that's how you found out. If not, this is the energy of, you know, um, being able to talk about what you went through. Being able to talk, you know, say it out. So that that way you can release 
and start your you know um healing all right or fasten the pace for your healing now there's something about passion here it talks about insane chemistry like each other equally um having fun um so this might be something that is upcoming in your energy okay um yeah it's this is something i feel like you know is upcoming or you're you're looking to be able to create that energy okay but there's something here about something ending the relationship being over and somebody not having a second chance now guys this also i think it wasn't the grim reaper that came out for life path number two it was another energy but it talked about you know something ending also so please go watch that video it might help you and it also flowed into um, life path number one's reading. So you might want to watch that video as well. It says no second chances, grow and transform your life. So somebody is obviously growing um, from what they've learned. All right. And something about seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So is this what you went through? Did you go through... A situation where it looked like somebody seduced someone. Like somebody totally disappointed someone. Somebody totally behaved in a disgusting way. All right. De totally. All right. Behave in a very resentful way. In a manner that they shouldn't have. All right. So this is how you know sometimes when we don't want to end something. Um, and spirit will end it for us. And. We, we just don't understand why because you're not in you know vibrating with someone so please go watch life path number two's reading i'm beginning to get some kind of um roll back into that reading all right for you guys let's see this has to do with marriage commitment union for some of you maybe a disappointment in that area all right some of you maybe were expecting a wedding or marriage that did not come true. Some of some of you, it was the ending of a marriage for some of you. For some of you, it was your marriage coming into focus, heavy focus. And if you go watch last year's um, reading that I did for Life Path number three, I, I think I called it your year in, I don't know, did I call it like your 2021 year review or something i think your marriage i predicted that your marriage might be coming into focus or something that has to do with union or um you know you know commitment all right i think i said something about that but it's looking like this also is something that you know involved some kind of union or commitment and whatever that was it talks about romantic feelings and you know um you know somebody exploring their emotion somebody who was committed to someone who was heavily committed to someone or a situation but it looks like the situation did not pan out well okay someone may have developed romantic feelings for even somebody else because we did get that energy of you know third party interference and somebody falling into temptation and dating and hooking up so i'm also getting that energy from this romantic feelings all right somebody decided that their their feelings were were real and worth exploring all right sometimes when the devil will tempt you to see if you've learned to see if you've healed all right to see if you are you know dedicated to working on your shadow side temptations will come and you cannot overcome all right you fall back into old habits you you go give into your feeling and think oh this is what exploring what does it do it end it will end up destroying your relationship and destroying the foundation of everything you worked so hard to build okay um i'm also picking up an energy here of finances and career for some of you this might be what you're focusing on right now for some of you the whatever happened in the past may also have affected your finances or and career it may have spilled into that area of your life um Oh, this may be coming into focus in the near future for you, okay? But it says financial issues were a factor in your love life um, previously or will be if it's not, you know, something that has happened yet for you. Um, some For some of you, there was a lack of 
playfulness. I think you, you were in a relationship that you were not really in a playful place with whoever this was. Okay. And, um, for some of you, this is an energy that you're needing to call in as you go forward in this new, um, new direction or trying to reignite passion in your energy might be something that you need to bring forth the energy of playfulness um you know going forward but here it says pay attention to the red flag so i think maybe there were a lot of red flags you know from your that previous relationship where the sa the signs kept cautioning you or you know eventually something just did not work out where it looks like you know there was some kind of temptation or interference it could even be family interference it doesn't matter it could be any interference it doesn't have to be somebody who came up with somebody really it could be it could be you know somebody who hooking up with their mother or their brother or sister and having them totally dilute your energy in such a way that they ruin your relationship or ruin you know help you make up your mind faster or quicker anyway i hope that was helpful for you life path number three whatever this is I think you will be okay, all right? So let me quickly pull some tarot and see if we have any messages. I, I'm getting a lot of feeling about a lot of you that may have gone through what I've just described because I know it's not every life path number three that has been there. Um, so if you've gone through this, I have a feeling that at the moment you're just trying to focus on your finances, on your abundance, on this is the three of cups. So it talks of abundance here. So it looks like you're just trying to focus on, you know, also um, building your finances. OK, um, for some of you, whatever this is, it looks like some of you may have had your finance, you know, something, your financial area impacted or affected your source of income. But now you're just focused on trying to, you know, um, rebuild that. OK, but I do see positivity in that um direction like if you're working on you know your finances i see it blooming i see it growing i see you being able to rise to the top i see you being able to climb a ladder and getting somewhere all right um i i, I see this is an energy that i'm picking up of attainment also achievement of victory of success okay of also fun while succeeding okay and this is the energy of the five of wands which talks about strife so some of you may have gone through some kind of strife or this might be an energy that you need to watch out for my beautiful life path number three um but there is an energy of you know disagreements with people and this could have been in your past energy especially if we picked up that energy of third party interference this could be somewhere where you're coming from where you've battled with people you've had to quarrel with them you had to misunderstandings it's like you know not getting along with people and now going into the six of cups energy which is also the energy of you know um somebody in from your past all right so dealing with karma also dealing with you know unresolved issues from your past and also dealing with people who are considered your soulmates, okay? Now, your soulmate could be your friend, it could be your dog, it could be anything or anybody that you feel a very strong attachment, a, family, a sense of familiarity, a sense that, you know, I've met you, I know you, there's something I'm at ease when I'm around you. Um, so you could have dealt with somebody who felt that way or somebody you felt was a soulmate for you, okay? Um, it could have been a lot of strife in that energy, in that relationship but some of you are looking for this the sunlight all right my beautiful life part number three i hope that made sense for you let's close out your reading with an archangel michael prayer card for my beautiful life part number three okay he says shield yourself and it's it says if you want to repeat after me the prayer Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle, and my home with your powerful shield. Surround us in your purple light, which allows only pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night and keep my loved ones safe. And you can name them one by one. All right, life path number three. I hope that was useful. Until next time, this is Healing Hands. Please remember to check the information in the description box below this video 
for anything additional. I'm not really doing personal readings, but I'm making exception for, you know, those who um, need it urgently. Okay. All right. Bye, guys.